What's up, everybody? So, I've been bombarded for a Kelly Clarkson album review or reaction, but let me tell you, this is a review, just let that be known, because for the Kelly fans, I know that I've done, like, reactions, like, first reactions to every song, but for albums, I don't like to do that. I don't like it, because when you listen to an album, girl, you know, it takes time to really get your true opinion about it, in my opinion, so... We are definitely going to go track by track and discuss each song and how I feel about it. So let's. But before we get into it, let me give the overview. I do feel like this is one. This is her most cohesive album, one hundred percent. It's so cohesive, girl. Like every song, it just fits together one hundred percent. But I will also say that I think right now, stronger might still be my favorite album by her. But this is so up there. I mean, she's using her voice like in such a way, it's so mature. This album is just so fucking mature, girl. And she sounds it, you know what I mean? Like even when I'm listening to Stronger now or like any of her other albums, for some reason, like her voice sounds younger. I don't mean by age, I feel like literal just the way she's using it, here it's more soulful. The whole album is just so soulful, girl. I just fucking live for it. I do live for it. So let's just go track by track. Let's get right into it. So the introduction, a minute. Um, let me skip right in. Girl, this sound is sexy to me, right? Like, I love how it has, like, that... It has that 40s, 50s, you know, 1940s, 1950s quality, like, coming through the radio speakerphone, you know what I'm talking about? Like, I love that type of sound. And and there's a few tracks where she sounds real sexy on. This one, and I feel like, um, Slow Dance. Girl. She got that little, she got that little rap going on, but I will have to say, I feel like... It's a great introduction to the album, it definitely is, but this is something that could have been a full song, right? Like, I feel like it could go somewhere, because that production is really sexy, her voice is sexy, the whole... But but then again, I feel like it does its job, you know what I mean? It just puts us right into the mood of the album, maybe we don't need a full edition of the song, but I feel like it would be lit if it gave it to us, like, damn, bitch, what the fuck? Tell me how you guys feel about it, I do think it should be long, and I do think, give us a full song, girl. I mean... Maybe like a full song where she can give us uh, less of that, you know, radio quality, like go in and out between it, you know what I mean? But whatever, obviously we're living for it. Okay. Love So Soft, watch my full reaction video to this if you want to hear my full thoughts on the song, but bitch, this is, this really grew on me 100%. It's kind of trappy, like when, once the chorus hits, this is a trap beat, is it not? And I, I just want to work out to it. It's so sassy. It's so fierce. And I love that, yeah, like how high she goes. But she's going all over the place with her vocals on this album. Like, literally, her range is just insane. But I love this fucking song now. At first, I thought it was cute. It was just cute to me. But now I live for it. And I always hear it at the gym. Does anyone go to LA Fitness? Because they are constantly playing that at my LA Fitness all the time. And I'm living for it. Every time because I'm, I'm like, yes, Kelly. I take out my headphones even though I'm pretty much listening to the album anyway, but if I hear it on the speaker, I want to join everybody, you know what I mean? But I do feel like it's trap. It's also, and I love the pre-chorus a lot too. I think the pre-chorus is... That melody of it is amazing. And then you go to like a rhythmic chorus with the trap beat, like it's just too much. Like the whole song is just amazing. I really live for it. Okay, and then he, ooh, bitch, this... This is a highlight of the album, 100%. What is that, what is that little bop, 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 that guy? I feel like I've heard him before. Does anyone know what I'm talking about? Like, you hear that little boop, boop, bop, de bop going on? I feel like I've heard that in Rihanna's Cockiness. Love it, remember that song? And, um, what's the other song? Sierra's Looking Ass, I think it's called. Bitch, I've heard this, that guy before. But anyway. Her vocals on this song fucking amaze me. And my favorite part about this is that it's, um, the melody of it is very, like, 2000s pop. And she sounds, oh, bitch, she sounds so fucking confident on this album, especially on this song, I feel like. But once we get to the chorus, let's get into it. This is where it sounds like a 2000s pop song to me. And then you got those backup singers. That's a chorus. That whole thing is a fucking hook. Do we not agree? I bet this needs to be a single, 100%. This needs to be a single. Imagine a music video for it, like a Love So Soft budget video. It would be amazing. But you guys know what I'm talking about with the melody being like 2000s pop. Like it really brings me back 
to like early 2000s with that melody of the chorus, right? And I feel like at the end, the production gets even crazier. Like it gets really intense. Yeah, the production gets a little quicker and I, there's a lots of vocals going on. So many harmonies. Bitch, this song is like so intense. Vocals. I love this song, and I do have to say, I can't even place it into a genre. Just like Love So Soft, like I like that was a little trap influence, but like, there's no genre for these songs. They're, they're very different, I feel. She's giving us so many different sounds, so many different tempos. I'm glad that she started the album off real in your face. Fucking love that song. That needs to be a single. Anyone agree? Let me know. Okay. Meaning of Life. As we know, if you watch my reaction video to this, I said that I feel like this would be like the centerpiece of the album, and it sure was. I was so right, bitch. I'm always right. But honestly, it's it's even better in context of the album. Like when you listen to it, it just like pieces the whole thing together. It's like so epic. Ugh, let's just listen to it a little bit. Even though I did a reacting video, let's, we just have to. Girl. The dramatic strings and horns going on throughout the song. Her huge vocals. I feel like I feel like on this song, her vocals are the best on the album, I think. That's what I want to say. I don't know if I am speaking out of line, but I do believe that this song is the best vocally. And it's just the most epic. Like, it just sounds like a huge, epic fucking song. This, this should be a single, too. But I don't know if it's, like, radio uh, material. You know what I mean? But... Uh, and it's catchy. How are you going to give me this soulful emotional song and give it with a hook. How? 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 Wow. Because it is poppy in a way, only because of the melody, but the whole production is obviously soulful as fuck, girl. But all that fucking instrumentation, I can't. Love it. Definitely one of my favorites on the album. Okay. Move You has actually grown on me even more than it was in my reaction video. Check it out. You know how I feel. But... This is one of my favorite songs on the album because it's like very... What's the word, girl? It's very, um, minimal. Like, there's not like a lot going on in the song. It's really, I feel like, guided by her vocal. There's like not a lot of production. Do we not agree? Let's see. There's barely any production, really. It's just like that, do 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 do, like nothing going on, really. It's all run by her vocals. Oh my god. There's the, how deep her voice gets in the song, I can't take it. And those backup harmonies, come on. And she- Okay, I literally hate this phone. Every time I go to do a video, it's telling me I don't have storage. How do I not have storage, girl? How do I not have storage? It's telling me I have three megabytes of storage. And then I go to do a video, and then I have no storage somehow. I don't know where all those megabytes went. And it, like, ugh, I just really can't. Okay, anyway, as I was saying, move you. Is that what I was talking about? I fucking love it. Is the conclusion of that. Okay, let's get into the new songs that we haven't heard any of these yet. We did not do any reactions yet. Whole Lot of Women, which I was waiting for for so long. Uh, this was the one I was most excited for. And I have to say, it did not reach my expectations. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's very fun, it's funky. It's fun and spunky, but it wasn't as big as I thought it was gonna be. The only things I like were the lyrics like that, like I'm hotter than your supper and all that shit. Like it's very fun, it's very like, again, 60s type of shit where like you're just throwing out these like kooky, like cheesy lyrics, but they're fun, like they're meant to be fun. Kind of reminds me of like Bruno Mars production, except it just doesn't go as hard for me. I feel like live, this might be amazing. One of you guys actually DM'd me on Instagram a link to it live, so I might do a reaction to that because I do think it would be better live. It just, it just sounds like it would be. But on the album, the studio version, I mean, I think it's still really fun. It's still catchy as fuck, but it is missing something. Maybe, I think I wanted her vocals to be bigger, maybe. That's what I was expecting. I, I was expecting like a Christina Aguilera back-to-basics to back, uh, back to basics moment. But she still sounds great. I'm not gonna lie to you. Okay, I love the chorus. But 
the, it's just missing a certain punch, and I think it's just in the production that it's missing it because the chorus is really, I feel like really catchy, really fun, and in your face, but it is missing the production for me. So I definitely need to hear that live. But again, I do enjoy the song. I don't think there's a song that I don't like on here, to be honest with you. Okay, Medicine. This is the song that reminds me of like Mariah Carey Emotions album. I don't know if there's a specific song, but it sounds like that vibe. And it could be a single 100% as well, because it's, it's poppy as well. But let's get into that chorus, bitch. This is the pre-chorus, which I love. On this album, there's lots of good pre-choruses. Like, it gets you really pumped up for the chorus, I feel. And then hit the fucking chorus, girl. Actually... What I'm going to say is, this, the pre-chorus sounded like a Mariah Carey emotions like type of mood, but the actual chorus actually kind of reminds me of like typical Kelly Clarkson, right? Like that rocky type of melody, in my opinion, because she got that like growly voice and it's very like, I don't know, very like rock Kelly, like my life would suck without you type of chorus, my opinion. I think it's because of the shouting quality of her, vo of her voice here. Bitch, so many different hooks going on in all these songs. Okay, Medicine's really cool. I feel like it's it's actually giving us a blend of all different type of genres. Like, she's been doing on this whole album, I feel like. In her other albums, I feel like all the songs separately were, like, different types of genres, right? But this one, in each song, there are different genres in one. Does that make sense? And I fucking love it. So this is a great um, single opportunity, in my opinion. Definitely loving it, but the next song is my favorite song on the album, bitch. It was the first one when I first heard it, I was like, this is a song that I will live for for the rest of my life. Like, everything about it, it just warms my heart, bitch. Okay. Before we even get into it, like, the second I heard that part, I was like, oh my god, we're gonna enter a Disneyland movie. Like, that's what I feel like. Like a fairy tale fantasy. Because it's very, like, theatrical. But it's also very doo-wop. Like, Motown type of shit. I can't do it. I love this fucking song. These nights. And I love that like answer call, like when it's like these nights and then here comes these background. These nights. I'm like, I can't take it. It's so broad. Like really it sounds like a Disney song. And when I say that, that sounds so wrong. It does not sound like a Disney like movie song, but it sounds like it's just very theatrical. It's very doo-wop and that's my favorite type of music, bitch. Like in a music video, I could picture her like sweeping the floors, like in a Cinderella dress, and some dumbass guy coming through. No, no, you don't like that. That's my favorite. That's my fucking favorite part of the song. Clearly, you can tell this is my favorite song because I'm still going on with it. But bitch, come on. And I also love how it's like soft for the majority of it. Like I said, Disney girl. And then once we hit that chorus, bitch, she's shouting. Bitch. Wow. I think, I don't know what it is. It's those verses, it's like the, the melody of it and the way it rises, it's just, ugh. Mm -mm. Cruel, best song ever. Fucking live for it. Okay. Didn't I. Remember this song I love. It's so sassy. It's so aggressive. It's so in your face. It's kind of like country in a way, and I love the way she sings it. Here she goes again with the draw of like all the words. Bitch, I fucking live for it. But the chorus is the best part. Although the verses are great too, so I don't know. And the pre-chorus, bitch. This whole song. This is one of my favorites too. It took a it took a little bit to grow on me though, I'm not gonna lie. I'm loving the horns as we always love, but like here it's like th this is what um whole lot whole lot of women should have had for. Whole lot of women should have had because I feel like it's very aggressive and that song should have been more aggressive. A whole lot of women is more fun, but it should have had this type of sound where it's very aggressive. 
But she's pissed at you. And she's doing it in a catchy way, yet again. I mean, all these songs are just so catchy, I can't even take it. She's giving us melodies, and she's giving us sass, and she's giving us everything. So I d did not, I did not give you everything. So I do love this song 100%. Love, love, love. Um, would you call that love? This one is probably one of my least favorites on the album. I think it's like the poppiest, and it kind of reminds me of like Ryan Tedder type of shit, which I, it's cute, but I like, don't love it. Like it's moody, but it has that type of production that I don't like. It's catchy though, as always. But it's definitely my least favorite. Only because, not because it's bad, because like I said, there really is not a bad song on this album, I don't think. But this song is very adult contemporary to me, like very just pop AC ballad, right? Like that's what I'm getting from it. Maybe it would, I feel like it would have been something that would be like on piece by piece, except like one of the ones I wouldn't listen to as much. It's just not my type of sound for me. It's too melancholy, but I definitely still enjoy it. Like I'm not gonna skip it, but I'm also not gonna go out of my way to listen to it. Okay, I don't think about you. This is one that, with a lot of the album, it's because I was so obsessed with the first like nine tracks from one to didn't I, I wasn't listening to the last few songs. So I was like, oh, I'm over it. But I'm, this is a song. This is a huge ballad, bitch. I think I didn't like it that much because the verses were a little, like, just too sad, too slow for me. But then... But it's actually beautiful on the piano. Girl, come on. But I need the chorus. Let's get the chorus. The chorus is my favorite part. Come on. This is beautiful. I mean, come on. A beautiful fucking melody, girl. And her vocals and the harmonies. I love that. Like, I love how... I love how all the harmonies come together on that part. It almost sounds country-like, right? That's why I love the song. It's like country and it's kind of poppy. Oh, she's just giving us every fucking genre on this album. Like, I cannot take. So that, that's, that should be a single as well. I feel like that would be great on pop radio. Okay, next song. Slow Dance. Slow Dance? is one of the ones that I thought was she sounded so sexy on. Specifically on like the pre-chorus maybe. She got that, I don't know how to explain it, but sometimes she gives that quality to her voice that is just like sexual. Right? Like I could feel like, picture a music video for it. Like she would be giving eyes, she would be giving, ooh, that voice, bitch. It's cute until it gets to this part, which is my favorite. This is a very movie soundtrack song. Not Disney though. This would be like dirty dancing type shit. So the pre-chorus is my favorite part, this part. But I don't remember how I feel about the chorus. So let's get right into that. Okay, my overall opinion about this song is I love the pre-chorus. I love her vocals all throughout it. But like Would You Call That Love, I don't go to listen to it. But like if I'm driving in my car and I'm blasting this song, I will like it because I like to sing along to it. It's like fun, but I don't want to just sit here and listen to it. That's how I feel. I think I have to be in the mood for it, but still really enjoy it. And I really think she sounds so hot on it. So tell me how you guys feel about this song. I would definitely like to know because it's very different for her, I feel. Okay, don't you pretend. Don't you pretend and go high. I Another chop fucking part because someone called me. Like, why would you call me? Why are you calling me? Text me and then call me. Like, what the fuck? Okay. Damn. Let's get into the song. I know a lot of people, I think, love this song from what I was reading. But for me, I just don't recall it. Girl, I love the melodies on this album. I have to say that. As I've said multiple times, let's be real. But for me, some like this song is just... There's not enough production on this song for me. I'm not like a huge production person. Like I don't need it to like always be production, production. But like this song, like, this type of song, is just like not interesting enough for me to listen without a little bit more of a punch. Oh wait, what the fuck am I saying, bitch? 
I lied. The verses are a little boring, but the chorus is amazing. Another fantasy world for me, because with that little like, like those little high girls, they're giving me what I need. Wow, this is song. This is song would build up. Literally avoid and reject everything I just said like ten seconds ago because this song is actually amazing, and I can see why everyone loved it. And actually, the verses are now a little more heavier. It just started off a little slow, not a problem, it's a build up. Because now it sounds amazing. And her vocals are getting bigger throughout the song. I was fucking lying to myself. Uh, wow, I mean, this is the highlight of the, the album. Okay, not a single, because I do remember, I feel like I've read a lot of people being like, single, not for me, because I, this is more like an album, uh, like a standout album track, but not like commercialized. But bitch, what the fuck? I cannot believe I just lied to myself and pretended like I don't like the song. Don't you pretend. I mean, wow, what a don't you pretend experience, literally, because I was pretending not to like it and I lied to myself. I'm loving those little harmonies throughout the chorus. I'm loving the build up all throughout it. The melody in the verses is great. And... You know, it started off a little boring, but it actually gets, it really picks up all throughout the song, so, love. Now, Go High. This one I feel like I thought was, like, weird. This was a little weird to me. But it had a really interesting it's production. I remember the chorus was very, like, robotic to me. Girl, this bitch sounds so mature and old on all these songs. Old and not a bad way, do not make it sound like that, but like, she sounds like so experienced, like life has truly got her good. I don't like this song, I'm not gonna lie to you, I really don't think I'm going to, I don't think I'm lying like I was before. I don't like the melody, it's a little cringeworthy to me. Like it's not pretty at all. To get by. It's a, uh, I don't know how I feel about it. How do you guys feel about this song? I feel like it's very just like, uh, it's very middle of the road for me. I don't know if I love it or if I hate it. See, typically I like shit like that, like where it's very like experimental, but something about, I think it's the melody that, that I don't like. I'm gonna give her props for like being like kind of experimental and I do think it's gonna grow on me because like I said, I haven't listened to the last few songs as you can tell like enough to like give a full opinion i'm gonna say right now it's probably my least favorite on the album along with um would you call that love but this one's probably the ultimate least favorite but i definitely will give her props like i said for being experimental with it but i'm gonna let it grow on me and if it does grow on me i'm gonna comment in the comments and be like bitch i was wrong yet again but overall i'm gonna say fucking amazing album i live for it obviously so cohesive, loving all the instrumentations, loving her mature vocals, loving the themes. It just, it's one of those albums you just play in the car and like you just sing along to and you just love it. It's very like, I don't want to say country, it's not country, but like in a way, it's like a country type of thing where you can just like play it. Like it's great for road trips, like just to sing along and like to get into the lyrics and get into the melodies, you know what I mean? That's what I feel. Um, although, like I said before, I do think some of the songs need a little bit more punch with the production. Just a little bit more, but her vocals, bitch, on fleek on every fucking song. I mean, she really nailed it out of the park here. Um, I would have maybe wanted one more, what, just one song that was like more angry or like, I mean, it wouldn't have fit, so, but like, I do love when she gives rock and roll type of shit. Come on, that's like typical Kelly. And obviously, she didn't want to go typical, but she, uh, you know, I wanted it. Just one song, just like one very energetic song. I don't think there's like a song on here that's very energetic i feel like whole lot of women was supposed to be that one but it, it just needed more of a punch but overall like i said i fucking love it so and it's definitely up there with my favorite one of my favorite kelly albums 100 percent. let me know how you guys felt about it let me know your favorite songs and you know cruel is my favorite fucking song girl if she's saying it live please give me a link to that as well and let me know if you want me to do a whole lot of women um live reaction so definitely write in the comments your favorite songs, your least favorite songs, if you agree, you disagree. Do you love the album? Do you hate the album? Is it medium for you? What is it? Uh, let me know. Subscribe for more, of course. And I will definitely do some more Kelly Clarkson album reviews if you guys wish. So thanks for watching.